Dr. Roberts is a Radnikov National Council. Greetings, honorable dignitaries, notables, and attendees. I want to thank the hosts of this event. It is a great pleasure to join you to discuss a way forward that looks to the post-war economic growth and investment in Ukraine. Ukraine must have a vision of itself post-war. Who will it be? Who is it? And who do you want to be? This answer will determine your best way forward. There is no doubt that institutional money will flow in from around the world. Of course, after the war, uh, just as it has for the war, so it will for reconstruction. Ukraine has a unique opportunity to build back stronger, better, and to improve in ways that you otherwise could have never done before. Advanced infrastructure, preferential trade agreements among nations, and a soaring GDP fueled by a small business economy. The government does indeed need to create favorable business conditions for Ukrainian entrepreneurs and foreign investors. But the real long-term resurgence of the Ukrainian economy will come from Ukrainian entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurship is the single greatest economic engine on earth. Entrepreneurs build businesses, create products, and provide services that benefit their families, communities, and nation. It's interesting that the U.S. is only comprised of 4% of the world's population, but it is responsible for 96% of its major advancements in the world that economies run on. For example, trains, planes, the steam engine, nuclear power, and the internet, automobiles, and the list goes on. Ukraine must be rebuilt. The Ukrainian spirit is relentless, resilient, and persistent. And it is this spirit that will attract and secure investment from around the world, from public and pri private sector. A post-war Ukraine will be a safe investment for capitalists. But small businesses will need to be funded as well. Entrepreneurs will need supported. And supporting small Ukrainian business owners is the answer to a speedy economic recovery. You may recall that was one of the United States' primary strategies in recovering economically from COVID by supporting and investing in America's small businesses. Investing in Ukraine's small business sector is an investment in a strong Ukraine. So I say to the entrepreneurs of Ukraine, get ready, be ready, work hard. Nine out of 10 businesses in America fail within the first 12 months. And 90% of the 10% that survived the first year fail within three to five years after that. Entrepreneurship and growing a business is not for the faint of heart. It takes tenacity. It takes grit. It takes heart. And you must believe in what you are doing. You must believe that you are providing good products and services for the markets that you serve. You have to be strategic in your market placement, who your target market is, and what segment of the market you are aligning with. A uh, high cost, high value, low cost, low value, uh, and, and then creating products and services that are in alignment with the target uh, market that you seek to acquire. Deciding whether you're going to be business to consumer or business to business, all of these will factor in to the right way forward uh, for the economy. You must work hard, solve problems, innovate. Innovation is the answer and the key for any civilization looking to move from where they are to where they hope to be. Innovation, creativity, is the solution. You take common denominators such as insurance and you adapt it to the region and the market into which you seek to enter. You take telecom and telecommunication industries and cellular and you adapt that to the areas in which you seek to, 
to go. Uh, these are things that we have done on the continent of Africa and seen over the past several decades for a people that were not insured with health insurance, automobile insurance, and so forth, uh, but primarily the health sector and the telecom sector, where they did not have access to uh, to telephones and to mobile devices. And even if they did, there was no connectivity, uh, where there was no access to internet, and there were no utilities. There was no electrical service provided uh, to even put in additional infrastructure. These are the this is the work of governments and entrepreneurs working together uh, to grow an economy. But you must innovate. Do not copy. Don't look to the West. Don't look to the East. Don't look at what everybody else is doing and then copy what they're doing. They can only do what they know. You have the unique opportunity to go beyond what we have now. Many of the tech, much of the technology that countries use around the world today is not the best in class for its use. What the reason they are using it is because the switching costs are too high. You have a unique opportunity at this time to move forward and to leapfrog old, stale innovation. Security through antiquity, while effective on some levels as a deterrent, is, should be the exception, not the rule. I would also say to Ukraine's businesses and entrepreneurs, be flexible. You're going to have to be flexible in a post-war and in, in, in the current uh, situation uh, in war and post-war. It is critical that you are flexible uh, because everything will change. It can change quickly, uh, as we saw even with COVID, uh, the global pandemic, where people and businesses were shut down quickly. Uh, their way of life immediately came to a halt. I'm telling you, it can change very quickly. You must be flexible. Never think that you're done. Never think that it's over. Uh, there's always another way. And so you need to be flexible. And finally, be bold. Be bold. It is the time for Ukrainians to be bold, uh, Ukrainian entrepreneurs to advance, to plan, to prepare, and to, uh, to take courageous action. I will say that countries as it relates to the questions before us today, uh, the role of government and the role of the private sector in Ukraine uh, to grow economically post-war, the general principle is this. On this side of the spectrum, you have freedom, complete, unlimited, unrestricted freedom. On this end of the graph, you have complete government control about everything in every way, in every aspect of life. And so you have this continuum here, and the countries that are closer on the pendulum to freedom are wealthier. Over here is uh, freedom is more wealth. Over here with complete government control is complete poverty. The closer a nation and countries get where the right mix of policy and the right mix of freedom because freedom does require a measure of restriction. There's no such thing really as complete freedom because if it was complete freedom without some restriction, then you have chaos. You do not have freedom. Uh, if I, we have traffic lights and if I do not agree to the restriction of a red light and I say, I want to be free, I will go through that red light. No one will tell me to not stop, to stop at this stoplight. Uh, I will go through because I am free. Well, that causes chaos, not a safe measure of freedom. And so, but the closer nations and economies get on the freedom scale, the wealthier they are, both as a nation in their GDP growth, because human beings are designed to be creative and innovative. Government restricts that uh, unintentionally sometimes. Uh, so the for Ukraine to really thrive post-war, uh, they want to move towards as much freedom as possible while keeping the framework that allows for healthy, honest business to take place. 